Thomas Markle Jr. claims his life has been in a downward spiral since Meghan got engaged to Prince Harry, and his every move was suddenly put under the microscope. Thomas Markle Jr. says having his every move put under the microscope in his hometown Grants Pass resulted in his family becoming homeless after he gave up his job as a glazier due to ill health. Mr. Markle added he has been living in a hotel room in Oregon with his fiancée Darlene, her son and their two dogs for the past two months as nobody is willing to lease him a house. He criticized Meghan, who became a member of the royal family when she married Prince Harry last May, for not supporting him. He told The Sun Online, This is the lowest point of my life. Living in a small hotel room is really taking its toll on Darlene and her son, on all of us. And it's all because my life suddenly got catapulted into the spotlight, through no fault of my own. My every move has been put under the microscope, not just for me but all my family. Now there's been so much said about me, both true and untrue, no one wants to lease me a house or give me a job. It's tough to accept, especially when I never asked for any of this. Mr. Markle gave up his job earlier this year, but he says his landlord quickly gave him an eviction notice. After taking him to court, Mr. Markle then agreed to leave the property, but has not been able to find anywhere else since. He added living in a hotel room has put his relationship with Darlene. He said, it's very uncomfortable and expensive, we don't know how we are going to afford it. We have two dogs and Darlene's son staying with us a lot of the time, I had to get a big storage unit so we have none of our stuff with us, it's not a nice way to live. I've worked my whole life to have a comfortable living as a custom glazier that's my trade and I've always made a good living from that. This is not just a low point it's scary, it's really uncomfortable to have such an uncertain future. But the 52 year old says he has a plan to turn his life around by signing up to a boxing match with actor Henry Nacho Long, who is also a friend of Mark Wahlberg, next month. He said, I'm doing this celebrity boxing because I want people to see I'm a normal person, but it's hard to counteract all the bad stuff. People think I'm riding Megan's coattails, but that's the hand I've been dealt. This is my life now, I can't live my old life anymore even if I want to but I still need to survive. I don't want to badmouth Megan, but I think this could have all been handled better at the beginning.